The roots of Memorial Day, originally known as Decoration Day, run deep into the soil of American history. Born out of the ashes of the Civil War, it began as a solemn tribute to the fallen soldiers of the bloodiest conflict in the nation's history. Communities, particularly in the South, sought to honor their dead, adorning graves with flowers and flags. These early acts of remembrance, often led by women, were a testament to the enduring power of grief and the enduring strength of community. The formal declaration of Memorial Day came in 1868. General John A. Logan, Commander-in-Chief of the Grand Army of the Republic, a Union veterans organization, designated May 30th as a day for strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country. This proclamation marked the beginning of a national tradition, a day set aside for remembrance, reflection, and the honoring of sacrifice. The date of May 30th was chosen with intention. It was believed to be a time when flowers would be in bloom throughout the nation, allowing for a unified and visually poignant expression of remembrance. The choice of a date outside of the typical cycle of battle anniversaries underscored the day's purpose, not to celebrate victory or rehash defeat, but to honor the lives lost on both sides of the conflict. The decades following the Civil War saw the continued observance of Memorial Day. The holiday resonated with veterans of subsequent conflicts, most notably the Spanish-American War and World War I. Each generation carried its own burden of loss, and Memorial Day provided a space to collectively acknowledge the human cost of war. Memorial Day served as a bridge between the past and the present. It was a day to remember the fallen but also to recognize the living who bore the scars of conflict. The holiday brought veterans together, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared experience. It also served as a powerful reminder to the nation of the sacrifices made in the name of freedom and democracy. The unifying power of Memorial Day was particularly evident in the aftermath of World War I. The unprecedented scale of the conflict left an indelible mark on the national psyche. Memorial Day became a focal point for expressing grief, honoring heroism, and reaffirming the nation's commitment to peace. The holiday evolved from a day of mourning into a day of remembrance and hope, reflecting the evolving understanding of war and its impact on society. The shift in nomenclature from Decoration Day to Memorial Day occurred gradually over time. While the term Memorial Day appeared in print as early as the 1880s, it wasn't until the aftermath of World War II that it gained widespread acceptance. This change reflected a broader shift in the holiday's focus, from the physical act of decorating graves to the more abstract concept of honoring memory. The establishment of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery in 1921 further solidified the idea of Memorial Day as a day of national remembrance. The tomb, a solemn monument to the unidentified fallen, became a powerful symbol of the sacrifices made by service members and the enduring mystery of war. Memorial Day ceremonies at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, often attended by presidents and dignitaries, became a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict. The formal recognition of Memorial Day as a federal holiday in 1971 solidified its place in the national calendar. The holiday was moved from May 30th to the last Monday in May, creating a three-day weekend and allowing for greater flexibility in observance. This change, while met with some resistance from traditionalists, acknowledged the evolving nature of the holiday and its significance in modern American life. Memorial Day ceremonies across the United States take on a variety of forms, reflecting the diversity of the nation and its communities. Parades, often featuring marching bands, veterans groups, and military units, are a common sight in towns and cities across the country. These parades serve as a vibrant display of patriotism and a tangible connection to the nation's military heritage. Memorial Day is also a time for quiet reflection and personal remembrance. Many individuals choose to visit cemeteries, paying their respects to fallen family members and friends. Others participate in moments of silence or attend religious services. Memorial Day provides a space for personal grief and individual expressions of gratitude. The playing of taps, a bugle call traditionally used at military funerals, has become a ubiquitous symbol of Memorial Day. The haunting melody, often played at ceremonies and gatherings, evokes a sense of solemnity and reverence. It serves as a poignant reminder of the lives lost and the sacrifices made in the name of freedom. While Memorial Day is rooted in the remembrance of military sacrifice, its scope has expanded over time to encompass a broader understanding of service and loss. 
Many communities choose to honor first responders, police officers, firefighters, and other public servants who have died in the line of duty. This inclusive approach recognizes that the concept of sacrifice extends beyond the battlefield. Memorial Day also serves as an opportunity to reflect on the meaning of peace and the importance of diplomacy. The holiday's focus on remembrance can inspire dialogue about conflict resolution, international cooperation, and the pursuit of a more just and peaceful world. In this sense, Memorial Day can be seen as a call to action, urging citizens to work towards a future free from the horrors of war. The holiday's significance extends beyond national borders. Memorial Day is observed in various forms in countries around the world, reflecting a shared human experience of conflict and loss. The act of remembering those who have died in service to their country transcends cultural and geographical boundaries, serving as a testament to the universality of grief and the enduring hope for peace. Memorial Day, a day born out of the ashes of conflict, has evolved into a complex and multifaceted holiday. It is a day for remembrance, a day for reflection, and a day for gratitude. It is a time to honor the fallen, to recognize the sacrifices of those who serve, and to reaffirm the values of freedom and democracy. The enduring relevance of Memorial Day lies in its ability to connect us to the past, to ground us in the present, and to inspire us towards a better future. It is a day that reminds us of the fragility of peace, the human cost of conflict, and the enduring power of hope. In a world often marked by division and strife, Memorial Day stands as a powerful symbol of unity, reminding us of the shared humanity that binds us together. As we gather with family and friends, participate in community events, or simply pause for a moment of quiet reflection, let us remember the true meaning of Memorial Day. Let us honor the fallen, cherish the living, and strive to create a world worthy of their sacrifice.